Flat Earth British, Martin Elitka speaking. Hi right, guys, flat thumbs, double flat thumbs to infinity thrice forever and ever. Good to see you guys. Good to be back on a Thursday for what will be a special post ahead of the Holy Grail Great Reset, Flat Earth British tour, ending with a convention. Now it's all kicking off really soon, guys, as in Monday in Cardiff, which is uh, set to be a big one. It's going to be a party. It's going to be fantastic. Ross the so Rossage the Sausage will be... <laughs> you don't like me calling him that. Sorry, Ross. Ross will be there um, from Hidden History, British Hidden History's Ross as well, to talk about uh, unbelievable subjects like Joseph of Arimathea's rest in place. So like, Jesus Christ, rest in place over there, yo. So nothing small, like just big stuff. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So Welcome all, all you fantastic flat earth British peeps, or feathers, or think tankers. It's good to see you. So yeah, we're going to have a fantastic show, so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the places we're going to go, okay, and we're going to go through a narrative um, and some awesome uh, mud flood evidence, which uh, I've discovered. Uh, whilst looking into, we're going to, through, through actually John Speed maps of 1609, if you know about them. Um, so let's have a few shouts to you. The peeps are back in. 100 of you just shit out of nowhere. I'm live on the Celtic Tatarian channel. I'm live on the Marty Liga channel. Please, please, please share this out. Okay, I'm going to get on with it. So tickets are available for said UK tour, which kicks off only in four days. Four precious days to the tour. <laughs> going to be epic guys so if um if you are in uh, the uk make an effort to go to a town near you um the link you can find here in the chat and below in the descriptions box for the uh for the tour of fun okay now all is starting to make a fuck ton of sense all of a sudden okay now i'm not like a great prophet or anything but i do know how this sort of show plays out and i knew that after plague, there would be war. So what I thought was, or what we are thinking, through some angelic um, synchronicities, divine synchronicities that have happened um, over the last few weeks have all led to, I guess, this point. And the opportunity for us, us as a collective, okay, to use this love and intent to heal the whole place. Now, what we're gonna do, guys, uh, we talked to an angel of a lady last week while I was filming um, the film crew, actually, and my friend Maria, um, who's a very savvy lady um, who knew quite a bit about ley lines and the nodal points and the crossover points, the energy centers, such as Glastonbury Tour. And she proposed that, you know, with our power, because we have come, become all powerful in this, guys, that we can set our intent and we can heal the entire realm before they lay Europe to waste, which is what their intention is. So before all that, we're going to heal it. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to travel the UK and these Balfometic warships, cathedrals, these Gothic horror shows, which were once Antiquitech devices, will be made active and reactivated and brought online. Now, can you imagine this realm if Antiquitech comes back online? Can you just imagine it? No, you can't, because it'd be too fantastic for the imagination, guys. This is beyond imagination and doable by us. So how would we neutralize, say, a Gothic warship? Well, we would use crystals. Our, we would bring to the tour your favorite crystals, some smudging sticks, always a goodie, and um, your way of um, spiritual cleansing that is indicative to you your personality use that that power for us and write little positive notes of paper and we'll force it into the stonework of them edifices and we'll take it all back to the people the good people of this realm does that make sense well that's what we're going to do we we are going to unlock this place using the ley lines so that's what we're going to do. So 
hoping that some of you are going to take part. You don't have to be actually there to take part in this. We're going to be going live at these events, Glastonbury, for example. Um, and you'll be able to basically do this at home while you're watching online and also joining in with a positive love intent. Okay, no doubt, remember how this works, to overcome these. They have got to go. Okay, what they got in mind. You know, they, they dropped yesterday. Oh, there's no more plague. It's all gone in Britain, yeah? It's like, what? Like nothing's ever happened? Yeah, sorry. Like nothing ever happened. All right, then. I'm with the show. I thought, oh, yeah, right. I'm with the show. Same day, Russia invades fucking Ukraine. Can't make this shit up. I fucking knew. I knew last week. I'd be discussing it. I knew when they were putting telegraph poles up out in my streets outside and all over my neighborhood for landlines. Landlines. Millennials don't even know what a fucking landline is, guys. Yeah. You don't need landlines in the 21st century. Everything's underground or wireless. So that is a backup supply for when all of this goes down. And all of this test to keep everybody in and obeying orders, that's a precursor to war. Like I said, all along. Anyway, fuck them, fuck their agendas, and fuck it all. We're going to take it back. We, as a mass, are going to have a Kowalski moment. We're going to drive all the masses to the fucking streets. I'm going to take it back. And this is it, the UK tour, okay? Convoy this motherfucker, guys. Everybody, you in? What you got to lose? No, just stay in your fucking house. Do fuck all with your life. Hmm? Or take part in the great healing. Which one? Take part in the great fucking healing, guys. This is our moment. What have we got to lose? Perhaps a lot to gain. Everything to gain. So let's have a shout to you all. There's Moonbeamage in the house talking to Valerie. Hi, Moonbeamage. Lovely Moonbeamage. And Indigo. Bringing in my van. Good, good, good. We got vans. Um, most of us, uh, or most of my friends, we are all like vanny people okay and as this shit unfolds i'm sure people are going to start prairie dogging it and brown alert any fucking moment and like, oh shit i bet my barbarian website right fucking takes off in a minute like no one bothers listening to me it really does my fucking head in sophia if you'd have all like taken the tip like a white a while back like when i said all this shit we'd all be in good place now and not like oh fucking hell time's running out isn't it no shit sherlock Fiona, we're going to meet her at the convention. That's going to be awesome. Good to see you there, Fiona Rich, up in Mancurian land. Uh, Cam carries in the house. Will be Mitch. Uh, Quantum Bear Trap. You're in 100%. Now, this is synchronicity, right, guys? Because uh, my friend Jade was looking at a comment oh, two months ago, which was talking about the exact same subject. Moonbe um, sorry, Jennykins, who is loving a mitt. Saying it's mad synchronicity. She's just been thinking about it. how many think people have been thinking about this Asian grid work, reactivating it, bringing Antiquitech back online, driving the devil out of this fucking place with our intent. That can be done, guys. You just got to know. It's not belief. Belief is for wankers. You got to know. You got to know your own power. I never doubt it, guys. That's the problem with this place. People doubting their own abilities and their powers. You see me doing that shit? You see me shitting out of anything that I say? No, do I fuck? Because I do, and I will. We love you, India. <laughs> India Wilson. Everyone in this realm should have an India Wilson. If you haven't, tough shit ski. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> She's absolutely fantastic. Everyone, send love to our India Wilson. Kowalski lives. That was the last great American hero. Nothing can stop Kowalski, yeah? Although he was on a big bag of ways and he had a really fast car. But that's all right. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about Bath as well. We're going to talk about Bath in this. We're going to talk about um, some of the locations and what we found out about a few of them. Now, if you have bought a ticket, all of the information meetup points will be sent directly. You'll have a key ring on a revalier on arrival. This is how this shit goes down. I'm going to be giving you a key so we know that you're actually there. Don't bother gay crash. Your man's a crazy person, so that would not be wise, okay? So, <laughs> love you, Capalocious. Water dragon. So, yeah, let's make this happen, guys. Okay, everyone join. Let's heal this realm. I will crank up live. You can join in, in America lands and everywhere else, okay, guys? 
take part in this. This is important to us. We haven't got no time to fuck around anymore, guys. What are we going to do? Sit there and wait. Yeah. You know they're dying for World War Three. No, it won't be atomic, guys, because there's no such fucking thing. But they have got really nasty conventional weapons. And they just go shortages, more bullshit, more bullshit, more bullshit, forever and ever. Perpetual war. If you've not read the book, 1984, all that shit goes down, guys. Artie. So on that note that I knew it was coming and everything else and the time's ticking away, I don't think there's any time to fuck around anymore. So let's network. Okay. Let's fucking talk to one another. Yeah, not like musky fucking dead eyes already fucking dead waiting for the moment Mark fucking jihabbed up because they've fucking had it and I ain't even bothered anymore about that. Don't want to sound, it's not cruel guys, it's just they fucking fucked all of humanity over when they made that decision and the question that still bugs me, really, really bugs me is why did they give, away, give it all away so quick? Their, we, their will, their free will and their freedoms. Why did they give it all away? Britain used to be mental years ago. They used to play up over absolutely anything. All out, on strike, marching, all of this in Britain. Now certainly they're the biggest bunch of wankers in the fucking world. Yes, Boris. Three bags fucking full, Boris. What? Where's Britain? Where's Britain's fucking spirit? How the fuck did this country ever win a war? That's what I want to know. Fuck me. Fucking backbone. So what's needed? Mind you, if they have a war, they might just fucking gather up all the hoodies and send them off to go and fight in the trenches, get their heads blown off. That make men of them. So Mo Samson, good to see you. Thank you much. Love to you, Mo Mobrovsky and Bad Mammal. Like I said, I don't mean to have a rank, guys, but you know, things are really on in it. You know, they're just playing dialectics, one serious one after another. And you know, this one's like not good, you know. So network. Let's meet up. Let's discuss what the fuck we're going to do. Let's fucking get out. Let's buy an island, guys. Let's buy a star fort. There's enough money in all of you to buy a fucking star fort. But you're waiting in your council houses for it to hit the fan. Zombie Armageddon. If it comes, don't be fucking crying to me, guys. Because I tell you what, I've done enough to try and help you all. To try and explain to you all what is fucking coming. What have I got to do? We can heal this. We can make it all go away together, guys. You just got to know your power. You got to know what you are and what we are together as a collective. Hmm? We already busted it. We've already won. They're just fucking in our face with it now. Okay. No, I was um, supporting the FE last night. Um, one of the flat earthers, YC, went over to this fucking million fucking channel thing. Um, Sean Atwood. Fuck me, I'm glad I'm not that crap. How the fuck do you get a million views with no content? It's about me. It's all about fucking pub punches at punch ups. And their fucking chat feed was disgusting. So why is it the glow people believers have to be so fucking rude to the flat earthers? We don't go around rude to you. It's all you are all narcissistic and fucking nasty about it. And you don't even know what you're nasty about because you just does my head in. So like David, at the beginning of the thing, said, uh, the, the interview says to the guy, well, the problem we got is like most people who are defending the globe model don't even know the globe model. And he asked him about the basic you know, speeds and rotation of Earth. And the guy's like, <laughs> I don't even know. No, you don't even know what you're fucking defending. This is really frustrating, guys, that we're defending something they don't even know about. OK, so um, I, I basically I, I rallied a load of their feet to get, you know, to, to go in and try and. Uh, put these people right but how fucking rude and this is what we got to deal with guys this is what we got to deal with nasty ass narcissists who just want to fucking abuse you if you've got a different idea in life and this is the always been the way with this fucking place hmm? yeah, not a lot of critical think or think for yourself yeah i gotta be told what to think be told what to say by other people who are all evil Fuck me. It's like the fucking paedophile fucking celebrity club out there. They're all supporting them. What's that all about, guys? They know the BBC. Well, everyone should smash their fucking tellies up. What's the matter with them all? Yeah. Have they all been like hypnotized by the Queen's speech? Did something happen that we all missed? No. It's about the blood, isn't it? Looking for someone, aren't you? Wonder why that fucking is. Call for zero. Angela Baby Carson. It ain't going to happen, guys. It ain't going to happen. Todd Mullen. I think they want to kill me. Ziggy. Anne. Jammy Vicious. 
Valerie Parks, Joy, Jeffrey Bale. Uh, yeah, don't be. Um, I know um, links are cool and all of that, but like some of you know, it is my channel, and I'll do what I want to do with my channel. And I'm not happy with like links about channels, of course, loads and loads of division um, in the community. We're not doing that. It's a very important time now. We need cohesion and we need unity. We don't need people bringing in stuff that's just going to be, <laughs> that's good. We're not doing that no more on Flat Earth British, okay? Serious business. Anyway, I'm trying. So, Cheech, lovely picture of you the other day, my brother. Lovely with the guitar and the shit. Much love to you. Digging you, Cheech, bruv. Can't wait to meet up. Yeah, blaze it. Have a fucking killer time. Um, Mr. Mensa, my brother. Good to see you, my friend. And Holistic Media, Adam Cook. They tried to join me in the Mensa once. I did pass this stupid fucking test and they sent me to go there. I was supposed to go to Leamington Spa to some hall to register and all that. I was like, nah, fuck that. They're all a bunch of cunts. Was I wrong? Jimmy Savile was one of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was it? Um, Groucho Mark said, um, oh, fucking hell. If they wanted me in a club, I wouldn't want to join. And that's the same for me as well. Marcel, holistic. Right, I'm going to get on with the juice because this is not going to be a massively long vlog because I need to get on with preparations, etc. Things are moving along very, very swiftly. I want to thank India for all of the like all day fucking work, probably. To get all of this uh, stuff helped out. Okay. Gigi, good to see you. Chris Duggan in the house. And no. Um, get crashes. Uh, season with love. Serious truth. Daisy. Are you handsome? Are you Daisy? Love. Um, Stacy Love in Massachusetts. Good to see you, my love. Fanny Blue. <laughs> see, I never called you Fanny Blue. Getting good at this, isn't I? <laughs> Andrea73, going to meet you, Andrea. Um, my mum told me, uh, told me she'd applied for tickets to go to Buckingham Palace for the Jubilee. Yeah, but isn't it all boarded up and not happening anymore? Fuck the Jubilee. What is it, a hundredth year of being the lizard? I hope, a, I hope a, a hologram comes and stuck in front of everyone. Vividness, hello, sweetness. And we're going to get on with the juice right now. Won't let that happen. People just doubt their abilities and their powers in this place, and they should, they have no need to. People worry needlessly. Yeah. Why are you worried? You're already fucking dead. Just saying. Just weird. The whole place is just infinitely weird. They tell you you're dead. Look into maritime law. They tell you. You know, necrophiliacs, apparently. <laughs> That's what they tell you, guys. <laughs> Shari, Ives, good to see you. Lutu, um, Indiana Gardening Club, anyone? I don't know. I don't like the name club anyway. It sort of implies somebody getting hit, doesn't it? So I'm going to have a drink of chocolate and then get stuck in. Energy Washer says, fuck the Jubilee. They're just trying to detract any of the other misses to do with the war. It's, they're going to invoke a nationalistic pride. But I don't think the royals can rally any nationalistic pride because everyone can't stand them now, knowing what they knew anyway. But now it's public that they're all, you know, clickety clackers. <clears throat> clickety clack, clickety clack. What's under your altar today? Are they getting away with all of this, guys? And we just sit here in our houses and do fuck all about it. How is this happening? It's a fucking millions, billions of us. How come? How come we just don't say fuck off and take it back? What are they going to do? I'm just wondering. It's just mad. All being bullied by the big boy. They ain't the fucking book boy. Have you seen the fucking elites? They're all shitless fucking crusties, yeah? Fucking, fucking Tory boy. Yeah, it's, they're not even fucking real. They're just like not even they don't know nothing about life. They're just wankers and they're ruling us. Why are we taking it back? Anyway, Martin Litka. Vitka is 100 percent flat earther like Santos and me, Brovsky. I don't give a flying fuck, Manny. Right. Let's get on with sharing. Does that mean anything to me? Like because you're your mate that I'm supposed to just like roll of backwards and just lay share. Give a fuck, mate. 
Nothing to me, mate. This is my channel, remember? It's a fucking war and people are pissing around. Whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the holy grail of the Great Reset UK Tour 2022, or so they say, followed by Flat Earth British Conference in Birmingham, England on Easter Saturday. Now, it's all kicking off at the end of this month, February the 28th, in Cardiff, Wales, my capital city. And then on from there to Torquay on the south coast of Devon, or the English Riviera and Mud Flood capital for a fantastic time. And then on up to Bath, okay, the famous Roman city of Bath. And then from Bath to Lincoln for a look at Lincoln Cathedral and the beautiful antique city of Lincoln. And then from Lincoln to York for a look at York Minster and the flood tour around York. And then from there to Whitby for um, a look at the seaside again <laughs> and Steampunk. And then on from there to Newcastle upon Tyne and then up to Scotland land, okay, to the capital city of Scotland, Edinburgh. And then from Edinburgh, we finished the tour in Roslyn Chapel and decode that and visit there. And then we have a small break. And then on Easter Saturday, this is the 16th of April, I believe, it will be in Dewey's Hotel, in the centre of Birmingham, Britain's second city. And that'll be kicking off very, very shortly. So you can get tickets available through all Flat Earth British channels, Kettle Tatarian channel, Flat Earth British Think Tank channel, the Martin Leaker channel, um, and you can find the tickets linked in the descriptions below this video. I do hope to see you all there and at the convention. This is going to be fantastic, not to be missed. Double flat films. Thank you. 
everybody it's Jadif here from Future of the Past just wanted to say how excited we are and we're looking forward to meeting you guys on this holy grail of the great reset flat earth British UK tour 2022 look forward to meeting you all we're going to be going around some amazing cities we're going to be seeing some old world buildings some mud flood buildings some antiquitech some frequency centers and much more super excited can't wait look forward to meeting you and we also have special guests along the way as well which is going to be super exciting so yeah let's raise the vibrations of this place let's all get together and bring some good energy and some good vibes and yeah just have an amazing time okay guys see you later <laughs> If you're looking for a gift to give somebody, or maybe you want something to read yourself, I highly recommend The Holy Grail of the Great Reset by Martin Lika. It's an in-depth insight into the alternative of the mainstream narrative. So if you're a history buff like I am, but you want to read real history, grab your copy of The Holy Grail of the Great Reset by Martin Lika. Hello, I'm Ross from Britain's Hidden History. I'm really looking forward to the FEB tour with the wonderful Martin. I'll be there talking about the hidden history, the things quite often which everyone knew and now we no longer know because it's being hidden. It goes on and on and on. You can see it through the past. 
And it's all about meeting each other and talking about these things. And I can't wait. I'll see you there. much fantastic is that guys i can hardly believe my eyes and pinching myself i really want to thank um flatter curb music for um basically doing that soundtrack for us guys so fam much love to you thank you so much my brother that was a fantastic soundtrack so yeah as you can see so much to look forward to guys and all of these places these sacred sites and these uh, cities we're going to in these towns are all on crossover points main nodal points and ley lines as most of these uh, places have been situated on. Now, what we're going to look at now, guys, is some mud flood evidence in the city that kicks off the tour. My capital city here of Wales, fantastic mud flood evidence through John Speed maps. If you don't know about John Speed, he was the first uh, cartographer, if you like, in Britain. He was employed by Queen Elizabeth I. She gave him a custom house or a reform, a re, um, basically a converted custom house in London docks to print the first ever maps, John Speed. This one was around uh, 1609, but it's, it's in argument because it was a reset year, um, the Gregorian Juliana uh, reset date, uh, calendar change, and took years to come into fruition across Europe, blah, 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 but it's two years. Um, it was uh, 1906 and 1909 that this map was made. Confusing, I know, but that's what happened. So um, I've been looking at the Cardiff of basically mud flood. Now, Cardiff it was the biggest coal port in the world at one time, although it's not anymore. And we're going to be kicking off uh, the tour in basically Cardiff City Butte Park. And we're going to look at this now in a minute. Now, this is Land of Cathedral. Now, according to this book that I have behind me, and according to Ross, who is Hidden Histories, Hidden British History Wales, uh, Britain, excuse me, Ross, he says that Land of Cathedral is the first cathedral on earth. He says it's the first cathedral on earth. Now, if you take a look at this photo here, you can see that this cathedral here is completely surrounded in mud. Now, I've got about 10 different versions of Land of Cathedral in this book for some reason. No two look the same. The story is one of the towers... Um, got blown down in a storm in the 1700s. It was built by um, Casper, who was cousin of Henry VIII, apparently. Um, built this tower and it blew down um, this one on this on this uh, tower here. So um, it's taken a lot of uh, changes over the years, as you can see. But what you can see is a ruined, smashed up cathedral According to some narratives, I think it's true, according to Wilson and Blackett, Ross, myself, um, reading about this now, that this was, you know, Britain being the first Christian nation on earth, this was very possibly the first cathedral in the world, or the first antiquitech device online. Now, what you find, guys, okay, is when you go to Lander Cathedral, now we filmed here for um, last week for the movie The Next Level. Um, I took the movie crew to the inside of the cathedral and we did one around the back and move a movie shoot. But the thing is, it's all the cathedral is down below the road level. You have to walk down a shitload of stairs to get to it, and you can see all this hill and everything above it. The cathedral door is right down here. It's called the Bishop's Steps. Check the bishops. How flaky is that? Yeah, the Masonic symbol, purple glasses. Oh, it's all very acceptable in the in the clergy these days, isn't it? <laughs> Lanzer is a beautiful place. It's um, the city. 
actually. Cardiff was a village near Llandaff. Uh, Roald Dahl, the uh, writer of James and the Giant Peach, was born in a house just by here. If you know the television series from the 1980s and 70s, Tales of the Unexpected, was recorded in a house just over by here, by this cross, where Roald Dahl was. So, yeah, Bishop Steps, they go up. You can't see them all here, guys, but I can assure you there must be 50 to 100 steps going right the way up to this road up here. So the church is really low. So we're going to be meeting you at Cardiff Pierhead, the secondary meet on Monday. Monday coming, only four days away. This is Cardiff when it was the biggest coal port on earth. And we're meeting at the Pierhead building, which is this photo has been taken from the window of the Pierhead building. You see all of this is gone now, but... They used to have ferries going out, uh, the Waverley over to the other side of the Bristol Channel. So, yeah, the point is the land of Cathedral was really, really, really deep down. Not anymore. Not in the past. So, yeah, where's this hill? It's just in a muddy field. There's no hill. It's just in a muddy field. It's just in a muddy field. And the stairs to go to it are literally up here and they come right down here uh, to here. So here is a, like literally, I wouldn't even like to say hundreds and maybe thousands and thousands of tons of earth uh, in front of that cathedral. Now that are not there in the past. Mud flood. Mud flood. And this place... Um, I did a film here with Mel uh, two years ago. It's called The Bishop's Palace. Now, why the bishop needs a castle um, is beyond me. A defended military castle for a member of the clergy. But considering the Vatican is a star fort anyway, and essentially a fortress, you know, people, it's almost as if somebody really doesn't like them. But yeah, no hill, no hill. And no stairs, no massive film, no stairs in any of these pictures, which is which is amazing. There it is, land of cathedral in the modern day. Um, what happened in 1940s, a lone RAF pilot flew over, dropped a bomb, and it blew out the side of the cathedral, almost destroying the, well, destroying the interior, but not the cathedral. It landed right by there, blowing all of this out. It was replaced inside by a famous architect called Epstein. <laughs> Epstein. So there it is. You see a little hill up there, but there's, the thing is this path comes from this way, and it's really high, 50 steps or 100 steps of the bishop's stairs, and they're not existing in 1600s at all, at all. They're not there. So a mud flood's happened since these John Speed maps, guys. A mud flood. And with these books behind me, you know, if you can date it, although with the calendar changes, it's hard to pin anything down for a mud flood. But um, it does show you that this thing is like, you know, literally, it's like it's underground in the modern day. I'll show you anyway. So here's that bishop's palace. That's another anomaly in itself, why a bishop would want a large castle. A lot of it is still there today. As I said, I've shown you films of it. And there it is in the past. So, hang on. It goes from that artist's interpretation in its heyday, everything mud outside, fields, to that, where you've got a cottage, everything is surrounded by mud. It's like nothing's going on except for the, the ruin behind it. There was ruined in an event. There's the entrance, and there's like a dungeon under here, underground, buildings underground here. Um, I had some on a film to show you. Um, so, yeah, it's got destroyed. The walls are incredibly high. So if you do come to Cardiff, we're not going there on the top because it's not Cardiff. It's, it's like a separate little city, if you like. Um, but, you know, if you are coming to stay in Cardiff, you get a hotel or something, I strongly advise you going to Lander Cathedral to take a look at this. OK, guys. And there's the Bishop Steps. Not there in the past in any of these pictures. It's just flatness and mud. Mud flood there as well. Just no, no Bishop Steps, no deep in the ground, none of it going on. Mad flood. And we went there this week. I took a couple of snaps, as you can see. This was with uh, the film crew. It was an absolutely gorgeous day, but it was a little bit chilly. And that was supposed to be in the first cathedral ever, apparently. 
but it is absolutely idyllic it's beautiful a lot of the gothic uh stuff is uh, being replaced and the interior is completely demonic we went on one sort of aisle and got to this wall and it's just full of these big grotesque demons sticking out of the wall we got a balfamet hanging up on the wall it's got a lizard's tail not sure video balfamet just to let you know who's in charge so this is the book i got um, it's the history on survey of Clandon Cathedral Church, okay, and it's from 1933. And the pictures in here, I lent to Clandon Cathedral, they took photographs of it uh, to replace the um, face of the tomb of St. Dyfrig and also St. Tylo, who um, St. Tylo is the cousin of King Arthur. King Arthur's family are buried at this cathedral, guys, are buried in this church. It's one of the oldest you can trace. The ceiling's in it, absolutely. In the back bit, it's supposed to be the oldest bit. But it's covered in gargoyles. The cemetery is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the cemetery. It's all overgrown. You haven't been cutting the grass. And there's these giant, strange pine trees as well. Really beautiful place. So there's my, my friend Melich taking a picture of what looks like the Archangel Gabriel slaying a dragon. Some say George, I say Gabriel. Not Gabriel, Archangel Michael. Don't think Gabriel does a lot of dragon slaying. So how's your dreams lately, guys? Hmm? Are they guiding you? Are they telling you stuff? Look at the low that window is there. This is the oldest bit of the cathedral, just this back bit. The rest was like ruined in them photographs. And this is supposed to be like attributed to King Arthur, King Arthur's seat. Or something. Um, so King Ar you know, this is in the King Arthur, you know, books that I basically got. It's about that stone. And there's a little bit of footage here. Yeah, that is sweet with the sun on it. You can see the transition though, the grey at the bottom. There's a dragon up there above it. Yeah. Look at that big fat dragon. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice fat dragon. Some sweet technasmia. <sighs> on the home? of the Welsh Anglican Church, Llandaff Cathedral. We'll have a look at the graveyard now. And the Bishop's Steps. Which is Whoa, like... there they are. I am actually actually took film of them, the Bishop's Steps. And as you can see, there's like 50 odd steps there. This thing's really low and there's steps going and there's just no hill and there's no mud in any of them pictures. None. And there's the entrance. And um, when we went there, there was a, a basically a crazy clergy guy, yeah, and he was getting his, his organ on, <laughs> he's playing with his organ and locked the door behind him. <laughs> uh, anyway, he went all crazy. So, you know, when you see horror films and they got like the hair flicking and all that, when you go proper Amadeus on the keyboards, yeah, yeah, he was doing that. It was me, and my friend was like freaking the fuck out. He's like, Whoa, check this guy out. And he was doing all like monster mash in the cathedral or demonic like. You know, like they do. He sounds possessed. I, have to, I know. He's, going He's probably shaking his head like Mozart in the oh, tripping yeah, moment. In the tripping moment. All right, I just said that joke twice. That's where I heard it off me. He's long white hair all over the place. Yeah. Oh. And his tail. Landers Cathedral, FEB peeps. Is that a fascist? What is that? With the flame going through it. It's not a sword. Don't know, it looks like a comet. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I know. This is the tower that got knocked down, that other one there, Casper Tower. So, there you are, we're at Adventures, out with uh, Mel at Lando Cathedral. I'll show what we got here. Yeah, any of them Greek? Greek. Yeah, any of them Greek? Fuck Greek. off. And we're going to be basically cleansing that place too, because it's too demonic to be here. The thing is, Fucking nightmarish. Look at all them steps and all that mud. How much mud is all of this? Jesus. And this wall is crazy. They've got like cobble, um, but it's like face up, which you see quite a lot in the old world stuff. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Lando Cathedral, mud flooded, no doubt about it. In the John Speed maps, etc., this place is on ground level in the mud. And now it's like way, way, way down below ground level. Okay. Now, another place where another destination okay i haven't really done them in order but glastonbury i can show you in a minute is bath 
Now, somebody found um, an interesting, oh, somebody, Jade, <laughs> found an interesting picture in an old book, Folklore of Britain book. And um, this is supposed to be the Roman baths ha- bathhouse, like Roman, apparently. You've got healing properties, you know, natural spa. I guess and you can't go in there if it did actually, you know, if it was good for you in any sense. But apparently the the, the narrative is that in the Middle, Middle East, excuse me, the Middle Ages, these people were going in there infected with, you know, scabs, um, festering stuff. <laughs> And um, just fucking, like, basically, they used to have to, like, rake the top off of the water for all of the, like, scabs and pus and stuff, yeah? So they were trying to be healed. But in this old depiction of the bath, which doesn't look like the one, but it is, what you've got in the center of the bath, where everyone's swimming to heal, is a large Antiquitech building. A large Antiquitech building. So this this water was uh, highly charged. This water was was healing they took away the antiquitech then everyone ends up like that <laughs> modern day it ain't got it there guys they've taken it away is it roman is it fuck who are the masters of water you know it what year is this j672 so in j672 there was an antiquitech building in the center of bath yeah and you can see things like Minerva and also, as you can see, Bacchus or the green man with Bacchus, who is the devil. So, yeah, first, um, later on, then let me just bring Glastonbury over here. Oh, excuse me, I'll show you that in a minute. Then later <laughs> on, on the tour, we'll be going to Lincoln. I visited you relatively recently with uh, Jade, it was absolutely fantastic. The place is really demonic, though, guys. There's just like as you can see, this uh, bash relief, there's demons and there's little uh, little serpents, little snakes, sort of, you know, well, fighting is really, I'm not even sure. It's like stuff going on anyway in it, guys. And at the end, like, it's the usual narrative of everyone gets chucked into a big monster's fucking face. Or a, the demon. I look wrecked. Um, there it is. It's absolutely massive. It's hard to even believe the scale of Lincoln Cathedral. It was apparently the biggest highest building in the world for some time and it's very very nice indeed as you can see the whole place is mud flood affected and there's very very little um in the way of modern builds there so yeah they got like monkeys with willies hanging out all sorts of weird shit going on but it is a church so so of course you're gonna fucking do that aren't you yeah please be hallelujah so, yeah, so um, he's a religious guy. Yeah, he's on top of all demons and stuff going on, doing the old Baphomet. Exactly the same with the two little people beside. Exactly the same in every way. And even this bit um, over his solar plex is exactly the same as what you get on an effigy of Baphomet. There he is. And that's on Lincoln. The place is just totally evil. It's all about the imp. I'll show you some of that in a minute. The whole town's obsessed with this fucking imp who apparently went in there in the Middle East, in the Middle Ages, and uh, apparently was, you know, scared off by a priest. How did that fucking go down exactly? Get out, imp. That sounds stupid. It's from the other, from another realm. Yeah, I don't think it, it listens to fucking priests. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this place is mud flood extraordinary. So I'm looking forward to this one. Again, it was one of the most beautiful places ever, although highly tainted. Look at that for a, for a side door, guys. I must admit, beautiful photographs. Really nice quality uh, photographs. So there's a lot going on with the technasmia here, guys. Knobbly bits, as we call them in this field. <laughs> it's an official term, actually, knobbly bits. So we've seen a few unusual things. We've seen a rainbow above this building, which is unusual. Look at these. Yeah, nothing in there. There must have been something in here at some stage. Why have a decoration above this if there's nothing in there? So, yeah, they had um, sundials, real clocks. I'll tell you the time. In Lincoln Cathedral. So, yeah, just directly above it, though. Um, 500 you watching, Super Smashing Great. Um, please, could you share this up? very very appreciative so yeah we're basically looking at the sky and there's a rainbow and it's inverted it was a, 
A lady walked past. We pointed her out. Apparently, inverted rainbows are a thing. Although, I've never fucking seen one before. But there you go. And the weird thing was, just before the rainbow appeared, bells were ringing. Bells were ringing. It was the strangest thing. Oi, oi. Not freaky at all. Just laying here, looking at the cathedral, which is massive. And that's supposed to be one of the big... That was supposed to be the highest building on Earth until uh, the Empire State. Look what's above us. Not only has this not been raining, there's a... I've never seen a rainbow that way in my life before. What is it exactly? What? I'll tell you what, this is the trippiest thing ever. That's not supposed to be there. Rainbows do not go that way. Oh, what the hell is going on? And isn't that weird? It's directly over this cathedral. Isn't that strange? Like yeah, directly cool. over the cathedral, not anywhere else. Yeah. Exactly, is it? It's not been raining. Check that out. That's the trippiest thing ever. Yeah, just goes to get some pecs perspective. Well, we're, we're laying on a thing here looking at the elevation because it's fantastically big and it's trippy, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we look up and then, woof, some freaky thing we've never seen in our lives before trying to work it out. Have you seen that above the rainbow? Come back here, look at this. And then, this is why we're laying here. Have you ever seen a rainbow that shape for a start off? Why is it not a bow? It's back to front. Yeah, like I've never like seen that. a rainbow like that in my life and it's not been raining. And it's like perfect. And it's directly above this church. What do you think? Have you seen that skeleton over yeah, by there? There's some stuff it's the there. freakiest demonic stuff I've ever seen in my life. People are giving money for, for the worship of death or something. What do you think? It's a bit unusual, isn't it? It's <laughs> <laughs> coming over to the main tower as well. Trippy. Fuck knows what that was. I've never seen that before. But the bell rung just before, so I cannot think. And it's like, oh, excuse me. Oh, there was the bell. So, yeah, this is the sort of thing you see in Lincoln. The worship of money and death. They had all coins all over it. Huh. Just freaky stuff, guys. So, yeah, fantastic place. But we did ask the lady about, like, you know, the abundance of mud floodness in the city. Um, they have, like, real shops as well, like a chocolatier. Yeah. Ladies, did you hear what I just said? A chocolate tear. Yeah, I know. I've seen your little ears prick up then. Ooh, did he say chocolate? Um, look at this, though. And the whole city. So we asked her about these. This lady in this shop in this road. Oh, my God. Uh. So we went in there because basically it says Prince of Wales. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Just saying. From Wales and all that. So, yeah, beautiful place. So, we're going to go and basically fill this square up with my speaker. Yeah. Obviously, it won't be like spoiling the um, the ambience of the place with like anything like, I don't know, Black Sabbath or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We're going to do the conga around there anyway. Da, 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 yuck. Da, 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 yuck. Da, da, da. And we'll do that every city. Okay. So, we get, we get to the end. And then it'd be da 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 rustling, da 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 rustling. So I had a big cannon. And this place, right, was the worship of imps. Now, if you don't know what imps are, they fucked up little weird demons. And this is like a palace. And for some reason, oh. Okay, still at Lincoln, absolutely fantastic city. Check this out for beauty. British <laughs> usage. Oh my. What's this? It looks a bit star 40. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. 
medieval. Well, no, that looks star for it. Look at that. I've got to be having it. Even that bit on the corner. Let me have a look at this map. <laughs> right. Yes. We're in one. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's it. What's that for? Such. What is this for? It's number eight. Courthouse. Courthouse. Oh. Nice, that's a bit that's funny. What's with all the imps? It's like some sort of voodoo cult. I know, like a witch. Like, that's so trippy. Look at this. Guys, they've stuck hundreds of imps, demons, in, like, totem. Well, it don't give me that good feeling, though. Look at the mouthful. No, I don't think it's close. It's the devil's Look. creature. Yeah, so the woman said, everywhere's got sellers. They've blocked them all off. World War II. Crazy stuff. What's that? Oh, it's his fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to look twice. Are they doing that on purpose? Yeah. Why does he need his leg crossed? That looks a bit improper. I'm not sure what's going on here, you know. I'm just being honest. What about the Freemasonic symbol? What's this? What's this? Nothing going on here. Oh, he's got the Phoenician flag thing they do. Yeah. And there's the green man, so there's your backers. With the owl. Holy shit, they've been coding it and singing it to children. This is sinister shit. Compass. What if we could pick up the secret to the whole of reality from a bunch of imps? Oh, this is fucking horrible. They're really vile. So he's got the uh, Knights of Malta on him, which you would have because the children are completely understand. Fleur de Lis. So warming. Go butterflies. Yeah. It's all symbology, all of it. Did you see the Freemasonic sign? Yeah, yeah. And you got the old solids going on. So they look at that. They've got a road of them. Oh, oh that's just so trippy. Check this out, bro. This is the Bishop's Palace, then. Yeah, he needed a few sobs. He got up there. How do you get up there? It's a staircase. Okay, still at Lincoln, absolutely f oh, it's fucking trippy about them imps, guys, I've got to be honest. So there's another uh, bit here with a lady who spills the beans on my flood. Let's see if it's this one. Could well be. This is five minutes long, so I'm going to just grinch through here a bit because I want to get to that shop bit. So yeah, this hill here is absolutely yeah, mental. Nice. This hill here is absolutely mental, guys, to get up, but it's it's uh, it's good fun. But if you are like sort of, you know, 32, 32 stone, I don't think you're gonna have a good time. But we're gonna get a rope anyway. I'm gonna get a rope. We're gonna bring a rope, um, and basically a tire on. We'll all tire on to you all one at a time. You've all seen Apocalypto, haven't you? We'll do that, um, and then I'll pull you up. Yeah, I mean, Jade will pull you up the hill if you can't get up. Does that sound like a deal? Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're in the great healing when we get to Glastonbury. That'll be even more fantastic. Oh, look. I thought that said hell then. <laughs> Bell. Okay. So, yeah, I can't remember going down that far, but I guess we did go down the hill. So, yeah, let's move it on a bit because we basically go to a shop in a minute. Ooh, the Jews Court. Well, that's all about. I don't want to know anyway. So, yeah, as you can see, it hasn't changed the day in about, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks, except that fucking block of new flats on the corner, which is dire. Rhea. Wow. Super fantastic. Great. Look what you would have won. Yeah, they look so pretty, in they? don't they, British cities? They're fucking not, though. <laughs> All they sell in there. A fuck ton of crap. Plastic crap. Well, made by child slaves. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. It's a couple of j good jack plugs there. Yeah? Yeah, we can't never have too many jack plugs, guys. Ooh, model shop. Oh, I love models. That's a good shop. Don't worry about that. Take back all I said. <clears throat> well, anyway, so you can see, 
We met a couple of hippies. We got a hug off them up by year. They were lovely global believers, but you know, what's this? Oh yeah, you are. This is this is the juice on the imp page. Okay, the Lincoln imp. imp. Uh, ugh. The archers presided over by a Lincoln imp, and the legend is the devil's demons were out playing, playing. Uh, can we go out to play that? Yeah, don't go far. And the imp went to Lincoln and planned to wreak havoc. How? Have you not heard of Martin? Um, he flew inside, knocking over the D, good, and smashing a window. Oh, the fucking ruffian. And lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Total fucking carnage. Yeah. Where'd you get the punk rock, Eva? <laughs> uh, when an angel told him, an angel it was. Oh, sorry. It wasn't a priest, did you? It was an angel. That's different. An angel told him, stop his wickedness. Yeah. Are you going to pay for that window? Hmm? You going to pay for them lights? Hmm? That's going to come out your pocket money. His response was, stop me if you can. An angel could and turned him to stone. Okay, where is he then? Can we see him? We got him in stone. Anyway, so there's a Jewish association and Lincoln Cathedral. Okay, which is super fantastic. Great. So and the Roman amphitheater as well. They got Roman share. And another imp just hanging around outside the shop. Wow, all the kids in Lincoln must be properly disturbed. I'm just saying. It's mad as fuck, Mudford. Look at that. It's like, just like, what era is that? I'm back 100 years ago, except for that rail. And that council out in the burger alarm. And everything else. But apart from that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's a couple of hills, but don't worry about it. There's Jade, Mudflood door. And the Magna Carta, where the actual Magna Carta wasn't signed. Okay? Wasn't signed. So, I can't show six minutes because basically this video's got to get onward. Steep Hill. No fucking shit. That's well named, that is. I do want to get this chick in that shop. That, I say chick. That's a very loose term. Lady. Um, about this mud flood. Uh, shit going down. Mud flood shit going down. So, there's a little Union Jack flying. Uh-huh. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. So, yeah, in here um, was a spooky shop, and the lady was nice. Oh, thank you. So, we're going to ask her now about what go on with all of my flatters, lad. And she tells us, okay, there's people in the mirror. The funny thing was, right, they weren't in the shop, only in the mirror. Oh, I made that up. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking at it. Oh, you're pink on today, that was all right. Yeah, but it's blue, Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, can I help? No, I'm just looking at your glorious hatage. Thank you. And a glorious statue. Looks a bit like Caligula. He's <laughs> got a bit of the Caligulas about him. It's David, actually. Oh, of course, it's the statue of David. Yeah, that's a bit of a mystery in itself, I'll ask. <laughs> How did he manage it? These hats are beautiful. They're lovely, aren't they? They're all British made. Yeah, I love my trilbies and my hats. I've got a couple. It's like Hicks and Brown. Yeah. I bet they're a pretty penny. How much are they there? 95. Exactly what I thought about 100. Look at that. Is that feathers? Yes. Oh my God, you've got a feather lampshade. Yeah. I bet that gives good energies out through the feathers. Well, the thing with them is nothing is wasted. It's the most. Um, environmentally friendly thing there is you know right. the birds are eaten yeah the feathers are used yeah. every part of the back bird. into the nest as well some Sorry? of them some of them use them in the nesting feathers i've seen in, in the nest yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 i mean they're just nothing's wasted yeah. on pheasant. that's what i like about them. you've got a dog head or a fox head yes wow what's with that then <laughs> uh, animal fix that's called it's a school of thought isn't it's it when they have like dogs playing snooker yeah. and pool and things but well, it's fabulous in here i know it's beautiful can i ask a question is yes. there a basement in this building uh there's basements in every building but no one has street. access to them i wonder really? why that could be are they deep uh we don't know because we know no. they're not allowed to have them. <laughs> they were sealed off during the second world war you see what really? yeah in case of bombing and things and so you couldn't things. go and escape and hide in them well this is it god no, forbid they, you should want to survive as far as we know they were all brick shops, well that's suspicious so in itself they used to be an access all the way through is that so um to from the very top 
of the cathedral all the way down to the other end of the high street. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm. I wonder if they still use it. No, they're all blocked up. All right. All well, they're clearly just telling you that. They keep secrets. I wonder if they are still open. Oh, thank you for that tight chest of information. Lovely. So, you've got a Mudford building. Wow. Yeah. Look at it. Have you seen it from the other side of the Do you realise what building? she just said? I know, right? They've yeah. blocked them off in World War II so no one can escape the bombing. What? I know. Look. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. She's lucky to work in such a place. Ka-ching. That was good. So, yeah, they blocked them off in World War II. So the bombs are dropping. So, of course, they're going to block off the cellars. And they're all connected, the entire fucking buildings. Absolutely amazing, that is, as she mentioned that. So, yeah, Lincoln is on the uh, list for the tour. So that is a little bit further on down the line. And there's Jade at Lincoln. Bat of British. Okay, so we're moving on. Now, when we're at these uh, sacred sites, and not that the churches are sacred sites, we're going to be visiting <coughs> Leyline crossover points. Now, this is an older map, as you can see here, where it's just proposing from, I guess, the north of Scotland, all the ley lines for Europe. Europe. But some of these are put on a grid system that's akin to basically the globe. But they work brilliantly on a flat earth, as it would, because it is. Um, but all of these um, crossover points, like a lot of them, Turkey, go through Cardiff, one of the main nodal points is Glastonbury on the top of the tour. So what we're offering is because um, there's not that much. Um, it's a bit of a small town, Glastonbury. So we're going to offer people who basically can walk. Uh, maybe we'll just carry everybody up because everyone will just be like miraculously healed. Um, <laughs> I got to the top of the tour and then we're going to basically... Um, do a little, I, I, not, I would say ceremony, but that's one of their words. We're going to do a little positive intent sesh and we'll heal that ley line and we'll heal them all one at a time. And the whole thing will work exponentially and all ley lines because all of them are connected in the whole earth grid, all of it coming back online, the whole of Antiquatech. May people, their love and their energy made this happen. Sound fantastic? No, sounds fucking doable in my Brian. So that is the idea, okay? Well, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be setting up positive intent. We're going to be using love, and we're going to be basically chasing the devil out of this realm and out of all these places, bringing Antiquitech back online, and then it's going to be that moment, which would be unimaginable, bing, and then we're back to where we used to be before the Phoenicians come and everything went to shit. Here's one of the main crossover points. We're going to be only a mile or two away from it in Glastonbury Town. Or a mile or less even and um, we'll go to the topic here and we'll do a ceremony it looks just like a pyramid um ross again from uh, hidden british history's ross channel is going to present at glastonbury his speciality is king arthur which this place is you know attributed to um but he's saying that you know basically through the evidence of Wilson and Blackett, that this place is just nothing more than a government psyop, just like Stonehenge. And that King Arthur was actually buried just outside Cardiff, and all the juice happened, you know, here, which makes a lot of sense, actually, because basically Wells is full of castles and Merlin was a taffy. Merlin the magician was indeed a Welshman. So I'm going to come back for a second, give a few of you shouts. We're going to be moving through this vlog pretty quickly briefly i've got a few more things to show you a little bit more about glaston we're going to look at mud flood or antiquitech budapest um in a little while so i'm just going to come back for a second and see how you're all doing because i've seen you in a little while oh, i still hear you 625 you oh yeah good to see you all my friends so yeah that's the uh, that's the idea it's very buzzy and every time i think about it i get a nice little tickle and a nice little tingle so it's all a very good thing and as i said what have we got to lose? That's right, nothing. Good, isn't it? So, four days, and we're going to be on the road. Flat Earth British, on the road. This is your chance. we got people coming over. We've got Moonbeam coming to the conference as well. The conference is on Easter Saturday. If you've had a guts full this winter of being sat in, yeah, bored off your fucking ass, OK, because there's nothing going on like ever. OK, just book a ticket, book a train, book a hotel, fuck off to Birmingham for the weekend or on the tour. 
okay? Hang out with a load of people who are wide awake, yeah, funky as fuck, fun, fun as fuck. No, all our masking and all of that's gone in Britain, so that won't even be a thing anymore. So we we'll don't even think about that, okay, for the moment. And have some fucking fun. Connect with people, meet people, little romance. Who even knows, guys? It's going to be fantastic. Does that sound like a good fucking idea or what? What else you do in real life? I know. So, hoping to see you there. And um, basically, I will be like there to do Martin Magic, make everything fucking super fantastic. There's going to be loads to look forward to. Music and good feelings. Okay, do you get that? Da, da, da. It's going to be fantastic. So let me give you a few of you shouts. We've got Spirit Levels Music in your house. Who's agreeing with the yip? Thank you. Indeed, do you know it makes sense? Hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Pick, Hit all of those good things. <laughs> uh, Mama Cat, Sovereign, good to see you. Wales, Wales. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's just a connection, but there might be. I don't know who, what do I know? Uh, Adam Cook, good to see you. AZ, good to see you. Holistic International Human Rights Lawyer, please. I don't know what that means. Canna, good to see you. Um, Brown, Clown Eyes, good to see you, mate. D, what's happening? Yeah, Matt Magic, it's, it's flat firm magic. It's flat firm magic, it is. You can do it yourself. All you can do is just flat firms. Yeah, it's new. Nobody's done it before. That's why it's new. Um, John Smith, our dogs welcome. Well, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. As long as you pick your own shit up. Okay. Don't, unless you just like, if it's dog shits, you can ask a passerby. So I'm, I'm actually with Flat Earth British Tour. So I'm not, not really permitted to pick dog shit up. Will you pick it up for me and see if she goes for it just for a laugh? Yeah. We'll film it. No, don't do that. All right. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess dogs are allowed, really. But you're, you're going to be responsible, you know, if it like basically runs into the roads and causes a 20 car pile up, killing 38 people. People all hanging out of windows and stuff. Like, oh, like, eh, because dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thanks again for Juicy Juicy. Yeah, it's a nice bit of mud flood evidence. Yeah, well, you know what? There's just no other conclusion I can come to with our land of cathedral. Also, that antiqua tech device in the pool is a, is a goodie as well. So, well done on that. So, yeah, thank you everybody who's contributed to Flat Earth British Think Tank for information. There's plenty of emails I need to catch up on. Um, but I have been, like, as you, as you see, completely fucking submerged in tour stuff uh um, put a corn on the cob on it i don't know what that means free press put a corn on a cob on what a bad a bad wound would that work uh gareth atkinson dylan good to see you poor dog no dogs are, no the dog never died dylan dylan yeah the dog didn't die yeah Fuck, fucking no way did the dog die we love dogs on flat earth british it was all them People. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. All right. What? The dead already? It doesn't even matter. Fuck them. Anyway, do they care about you? Hmm? Fucking hell. My, I know I've just created a really bad accident with loads of people dying. <laughs> Esli, good to see you. Um, hippie shake. Whoop, whoop. We're going to hang out all the gang. Hippie shake, you excited? Yeah, Jay was saying that they can't wait me. Hippie shake. We're all going to be dancing. We're doing a conga. And then basically, we could, have, you been, have you been practicing a flat earth British dance? we got a playlist. Hmm? It's going to make like a certain theme, which will be magical. So loads of congas, bit of Irish dancing. Um, can you do any special dances? Can you do that? Like, is it twerking or something? That dance they does, like Northern Soul. Can you do that? Do one of them on the tour. Do it like a David Flatley, like river dance. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love Teresa to do a river dance. I join in. We could all go in line and do a Saturday Night Fever river dance. No, you don't want to. Join me in that, dear. It's only me. I'll be on my own again. It's all right. Don't worry. Alpha Billy, Headleyman. <sighs> Nobody wants to do my nutty dances. Theo, Bob. Don't worry. When you're there, 
when you're there. We got loads of like markety things. You can you can buy like necklaces and um and a garland that we're gonna be supplying or Mel is gonna be selling more like garlands of flowers. Okay. You may even get an aloha. And you know what you what happens when you land in Hawaii and you got them steaming on Hawaiian women and welcomes you at the airport with a aloha and a little nose rub. Yeah, and then he puts garlands of flowers on your on your neck. Yeah, we're, we're going to be doing that. Okay, I don't know who's going to be doing the nose rubbing. I'm not going to be. There will be women around. Okay, you going to come now? Uh, thought so. <sighs> Too easy. <laughs> I'm trying to stop it. Help me, please. Uh, help my bro, Brian. Adam, yeah, I'm going to see you in, um, I guess, in your cage. Um, yes, you can come and help. Can't have too many helpers, but yes, considering you're the first one who asked, you can come. You can be, you can be my, you can be my mind. <laughs> You have to get a little stick. <laughs> I'm just a right. <laughs> Help. Right. Okay. I won't be like this on the tour. I'm the consummate professional. Okay. You wouldn't tell me apart from like. The, the only author or historian. Yeah, I look exactly like you. Everything. He's an historian. <laughs> oh. Isabella, Esley, Gareth, Floyd, Stephanie Campbell, and Dragon Sage. Good to see my brother. Ski. So, who oh, give me two dollars? Who's that lovely person? Is Isabella. <laughs> Margaret Walter, Jewish, Lou too. You too, Lou too. See, I'm a poet. I'm Welsh. I'm, I'm a bad. <laughs> JG, vibes. Good to see you. Much love, vibes. Whoop, whoop. I love it. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Matt Moore on tour. Where are you going on tour? Are you joining my tour, Matt Moore? Then we can have flat British Matt Moore on tour. <laughs> <laughs> United we stand, divided we fall. That's an awesome thing there. Nice one, nice one. Uh, divided we fall. <laughs> I'm going to have to go in a minute. This is not fair. Right then, let's get my shit together in the same way. So right, this is doable. I can turn things around. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, it's British, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, tickets are going like hotcakes. Make sure to get yours before they're sold out, and then you won't be grizzling later going, oh, you look fucking fantastic. I wish I bought a fucking turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no shit, you. Look, I told you this. So uh, get it today. Get it today and come and play. And fantasticness will be promised, okay? And if you're into history, <laughs> you're going to be laughing. Your little head off. So, yeah, Glastonbury's a buzz. Like, I'm a sort of person that went to Glastonbury, lived in the convoy for a while, went and camped in the forest, Savanac Forest, with a load of hippies, taking LSD and dancing naked on a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <coughs> anyway, let's get on with the juice. So, I'm going to be looking at Glastonbury now, guys, okay? It's a fantastic little town. I'm going to look, and then uh, it's Twin City, Budapest. <laughs> It's probably not though. It is from now on, okay. What what hippie? What hippie? Well, I, I was sort of, yeah, not anymore, obviously. Or a hippie lad getting in buses and running away from society. <laughs> yeah. Fucking A. Don't want to be caught up in these cities when the shit goes down. It's only laughing, I think. Alex, Pushkin Castles, they're ugly enough as it is, and everyone's a cunt in cities. Dirty fucking places. <coughs> Just saying. It's too much work, you know. Okay. All them people think they're sitting pretty in their half million, million pounds houses, thinking everything's going to be fucking dandy. They're in the biggest trouble of all. Who's going to come and save them? Anyway, 
I, I you just somebody just shit themselves. <laughs> uh, don't worry, it's all good. Uh. It's all meant to be. Nothing new under the sun, guys. It's all a fantastic ride. You should make the most of it. Enjoy it every second by myself. So shall it be. Behold, Glastonbury. So fantastic little place. I went there last December the last time. Um, this Glastonbury tour, once called Avalon, the mystical city in the mist. Apparently, it was an island and you could sail your ship right the way up to this. Now it's many miles inland. But that's because of the flood. So, yeah, this was an island and all this was sea. And that's supposed to be Avalon, attributed to King Arthur tales. And a few dated, some I-885 thing, whatever that, that first symbol is. I do not know. And as the norm, you ask a, a churchy person what a gargoyle's for, and you say, oh, it chases away evil spirits. Well, it's like the inversion technique. An evil spirit fucking scares away an evil spirit. That's just bullshit. Although the inversion technique is is not bullshit. It should should be practiced at all cost. <laughs> if you don't know about it, don't even worry about it, okay? So um this is a church. Yeah. So in Glastonbury, right, even the old people look like they're fucking like stoned because they all are. Um it's all they're all hippies. So basically what happened is everyone went to the festival and I like, basically never left because it's like it's fa it's fantastic us. Look at this, back in the old days, Le. Yeah. I'm just going to have a drink of beautiful water from under the ground. Nowadays, it's like chemical shit out of the tap through the, through the works, the water works. So, yeah. For whom the bells toll. Oh, oh look, papal hat. Papal purity, which is basically a bell end or a fish head. It is about it, obviously. They're all dickheads, aren't they? So, yeah, beautiful. We're going there, and we're going to be meeting up. There's my son, Lawrence Leaker, um, fashioning next to a cannabis leaf, because all the shops are like head shops, which is fantastic, and they cater for all, like, you know, because they're all, like, hippie types, hippie dippies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm allowed to. Oh, look how pretty that is. It was a little tree in a in a window. So it's made Patrick, who's warming. Okay, he's probably probably dancing around the noon pat room now, Patrick, all excited, thinking I'm on flat Earth British. Indeed, you are my brother, Patrick. I'm going to be with you in another week, and we're going to paint the town. Well, I was going to say red. I don't like that colour anymore. More of a violet. Let's paint the town violet, Patrick. Yeah. Okay, good. Bring a friend up. Bring a friend down to meet you. <laughs> okay, Glastonbury and the Millennium Trail. So we'll be doing all fantastic stuff like that. My friend Lisa will be by here, and she does all art on the streets. If you don't know Lisa Sinetti, friend of Flat Earth, and I'm one of the one of the tribe, basically. Okay, um, see this. It was in a it was in the grounds of a church, right? And it's basically it's that circuit board that we see on church floors. You know, basically circuitry, like a maze, but we know it to be circuitry. So, yeah, beautiful place. Can't wait to go there. And it's all full of crystal shops and really funky little. That's a cool shop. I love all the stuff in there. So, yeah, I love, love these little fatty shops that they have. I don't know what my son Lawrence is pointing at. Oh, that's pretty floating Buddha. So, yeah. All these little like, arcades. So, yeah, if you want to come and meet in Glastonbury, and they have loads of like hippie types playing like cool music and stuff. But, you know, we'll have music anyway. Yeah. Again, I hope to be like, you know, sort of mingling in with the atmosphere of the place and keeping the music like friendly. So, I guess in a bit of maybe Crosby, Stills and Nash, a bit of hippie stuff, a bit of Neil Young, a bit depressive. Forget Neil. Oh, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. That's all I'm concerned about. It's a playlist. <laughs> I want a soundtrack for my life. Yeah. When it gets exciting moments, I want it to go all spy so I can do rolling on the ground and stuff. That would be fantastic. So look at this. They got this antiqua tech thing, top of a building, I would suspect. And this piece of shit here. Why do they do that? Oh, I know. Let's build the most puke building you've ever seen in your life. Look at this. This is a lovely one. 
so yeah fantastic the mystical garden gallery so if you're like um basically into crystals healing and basically all the good stuff glastonbury is a place for you okay we will go we will invade we will see we will conquer we will go and they will be grateful for it okay the, the town as we will drive away will say thank you and i'll say thank you back look at this glastonbury tour so yeah again i jump over that wall and climb up the hill that way but it's probably a fucking mile looks close look at that one there it's in a sort of park nice little antiqua tech tower and uh famous glastonbury abbey which is basically old shit it's just a fucking old cronky ruin fuck it i'm not even going there so budapest glastonbury's non-twin city that i just named as a non-twin city but it should be it looks identical not so yeah they've gone completely mental in uh in, they were two cities weren't they they were it was buddha and it was pest and then basically they did the old london and had a big massive city called budapest but anyway <gasps> it's mad it's absolutely mad the antiqua tech and everything these are from the late 1800s they've got some color shots as well look at the size of that place for little people to occupy what the fuck what nice on the river though i'm guessing that's the danube is it i think it is uh, and they got a temple it's been of old Greco Romano Wilditch. Looks like it's got a. What's that on there? It's like a couple of gravestones or something. No, no hands on the clock, though. And we got two. Is it a synagogue? It might be. I don't know. I think they're two Jewish things, isn't they? Ooh. Might be. I think there's a lot of Jewish people in uh, Budapest. And look at their railings. It's totally Phoenician city. Totally. Eagle with a sword. Oh, it's lovely there, isn't it? Wow. See, in my childhood, I, I thought, like, you know, Romania, Bulgaria, and um, all of these sort of Eastern European countries never really had the juice because we were sort of led to believe through television that these were all had nothing. They're not, they're not, they're not like us in the West, you know, they. They have to save and take a mortgage out for a pair of socks. Yeah. They have nothing. But yeah, they did. They had all this. All right. They were mad capitalists. But they did all right, didn't they? And in the end, all right, I wouldn't like to live in that sort of dystopia, though. <sighs> oh, what am I saying? I fucking am. Look at this one. Mud flood extraordinaire. This one, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, why are all buildings like that? I'd live in there. If it was a safe world, I mean. Without our terrorist governments fucking killing everyone. And the hospitals being temples of fucking death. And you can't trust the water. You can't trust the food. So they got all the seed stocks have all got, you know, DuPont got them all. Nothing's clean fucking stocks and seeds anymore. Anyone got any original strains on that? They want to make them fucking most of it because everything, they got it all. They got it all. DuPont, water bottles. All of it is covered by all of these fucking con conglomerates. Con your ass. Conglomerates. Oh, very nice. Looks to be suffering mud flood. Beautiful, that one. Look at that one. Whew. But again, you know, even at this period, you know, a lot of alterations. Don't see too many people around. It's newish trees, only a few years old. Not necessarily an infrastructure. Looks to be a bit like mud outside. It is, again, with that fantastic building. So not that long after. Look at this. Fashes, fashes, eagles, wing, wings open, everything. In plain sight. And look at all of this effort for the chandeliers, the uh, lights, excuse me. Why don't they do anything like that now? A bit of raw tie and decoration or anything pleasant to look at. Everything's just puke, bland. It's not alive. It's got no soul in it. It's all empty. They took the soul out of the world. In fact, I think that's the thing. I think that's what you how you notice the simulation. 
I've already said, I think everybody, including the J-Habs, can see it, but they don't know what it is. And I think that's the whole problem, this panic, this look in their eye. Everything's changed. No fucking shit. We're in a copy, and it's a piss-poor copy. And the soul's gone out of matter. It's not a solid. It's just it's there. We can see it. Um, but it's, it's not so, no soul in it. It's empty. Reality's become empty. This was when it had soul. It's vibrant. You can see these same buildings in a black and white. See, this is my point, right, guys? You look at this photo, all right, it's colorized, late 1800s, it's vibrant, it's beautiful, right? It, it vibrates. You look at that same street in the modern day, the same building, this one, if it existed, and it looks, it's just no, no buzz whatsoever. It's just nothing. It's flat. And I noticed that they look more fantastic in the old days, the same buildings, no buzz in the modern days. It's because they're all offline. They're all offline. Look at this one. Oh. <gasps> Absolutely beautiful. I chose it for the thumbnail on my last video when I seen it. I was like, oh, that's, that's really gorgeous. Bit of a <coughs> masonry and gardenery going on. And that's that building from across the room on the Pest side. Parliament building. The capital of I'm hungry. Oh, dull. Look at these bridges. Carrying a charge, no doubt about it. Oh, raw tired. Look at this. And they got these charging hubs at the end. I bet there's one identical on the other side. The Antiquitec uh, charging port things. Check this out inside. Whoa. Massive, innit? The size of the people to all of this. It's high ceiling just for people, innit, guys? Magnificent staircase. <gasps> Supreme Court building. No shit, Sherlock. And there's the Opera House. Looks like the one in Vienna. So, yeah, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. You know, kicked off in the First World War. These were the enemies. The Hun. Hey, Hun. It's not much about it. There's always piles of shit here. A pile of shit there. A pile of shit there. Like, it's all just being sorted. And this building looks really, really old. <clears throat> Nothing going on with them, is there? Stands not in the middle of sweet fuck all doing sweet fuck all. I wonder what that's all about. No, oh, look at that. What's he doing? Oh, he's brushing the whole entire street, which looks not to be in a good state of repair. Oh, wow, look at that. Phoenician overload on the architecture and fountainage. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm. So, yeah, so four days, guys, four days, and it's going to start. I'll be cranking up as often as possible. And in between, I'll be recording, uploading them. Four channels to look out for, okay? We'll be using Martinica channel, Flat Earth British, Think Tank channel, and the Celtic Tacharian channel, and Martinica. Get on Flat Earth British Instagram, and Martin Martin's on Facebook. We'll be going live on all of these forums and basically making sure that you guys don't miss anything. The convention itself, or the conference, I should say, is already covered. What's going on with all of this? Difficult to say. That's crazy. That's like the one in Glastonbury, but a fuck ton more impressive. But again, it looks like the top of a church spire. What's going on? That's a very stern look, Mr. Hungarian person. But uh, yeah, I thought it was, a sh I was going to, no offense to Hungarians or anything, but I, like, I did actually think there was a bit of a, I'm not, not going to say shithole, but you know, I didn't think it was as fantastic as this. But Prague is as well, but I, ooh, I don't know who, who that is. King Knut, oh, I was one of them there. Crazy. Antiquitech. Blank. Panels, plaques, blank again, no information. I flood windows, elevated doors. God. Ooh, what is that? It's got a Moorish feel to it. Okay, now. 
two little minarets. Don't know what it is, just a cafe. Oh, look at that one. And a few different flavors of architecture in Hungary. It looks a little bit, I guess, Germany. All right, what are we looking at here? Oh, it's a. Um some sort of vintin or something go yo yogi yogi yeah, i speak hungarian i speak 12 languages also hungarian now as well <sighs> yeah. and then i woke up to be eric eric lives in there to be eric to be <laughs> uh, uh. Ooh, check out her over the door. Looks like a Phoenician goddish. Goddages. Well, we have clothes on. Why do... Oh, look at that. Why do... Um, did boys have to wear short pants until a certain age in the, in the past? I wonder what that was all about. Oh, I wouldn't like that. No, my knobbly fucking knees. Jesus. No, 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 no. <sighs> Oh, that one looks like it's leaning forward. It looks like there's just the top of a building and the rest of it's missing. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, God almighty. Half a fucking window. See, that's brilliant proof, that is. You wouldn't build if you were an architectural window so the mud could cover it halfway, would you? That doesn't make no sense, does it? Just silly, silly, silly. And um, this one as well. Ryra. Might come down here, yeah. and I don't know what this is. If you're looking at that, two holes, really interesting. So yeah, Bucharest or Budapest, I should say, when we haven't looked up before. Now, I'm just going to play out now shortly. I'm going to show you this is Holistic Media's website for the Holy Grail of Life tour. The link for the tickets themselves you can find on here, and. It's a lot of excitement, a lot of preparation gone into this, guys, as I'm sure you can appreciate. There's nothing else like it happened before. There's nothing like it happening in the UK anywhere. It is literally biblical, literally. It's the holy grail of the Great Reset UK Tour and Conference 2022. Check it out.
everybody, it's Jadif here from Future of the Past. Just wanted to say how excited we are and we're looking forward to meeting you guys on this holy grail of the Great Reset Flat Earth British UK Tour 2022. Look forward to meeting you all. We're going to be going around some amazing cities. We're going to be seeing some old world buildings, some mud flood buildings, some antiquitech, some frequency centers and much more. Super excited. Can't wait. Look forward to meeting you. And we also have special guests along the way as well, which is going to be super exciting. So yeah, let's raise the vibrations of this place. Let's all get together and bring some good energy and some good vibes. And yeah, just have an amazing time. Okay, guys. See you later. Hello, didactic, autodidactic. And when I read, I like to look at letters on pieces of paper, especially letters that make words. And some of the most interesting words I have found lately have been in a book, and not just any book, but The Holy Grail of the Great Reset by Martin Leedke. And I do recommend that you go out and pick yourself up a copy. It will enlighten your Brian. And for an extra bit of enlightenment, you can also grab The Holy Grail of the Flat Earth, also by Martin Leedke. So run out and get yours now. Campbell's totally hopeless as saying my name. Moonbeam absolutely killed there. Leetka, silent D. E on the end for the silent D. This is it's not the one. <laughs> anyway. So awesomeness. 520 of you still watching on the Celtic Titan channel, Matt and Leetka channel, and on Facebook, I do believe. Use Holistic Media, who is India, who we should thank graciously for all those fantastic things that she brings to us in the way of video presentations um i think that's funny that's sad i don't know what that means redneck that seems like funny and sad i don't know i don't know i get confused easy the love uh they i love this promotion audio detective do a great job yeah he's a diamond geezer doing that for me very much appreciate that too capolocious manny who is the truth seeker too at the moment uh, do you, you never know tomorrow, though. Jewish Samaritan, he could be Dave tomorrow. <laughs> Hippie Shake, good to see you there, Teresa. I'll be catching up with you soon, babes. We can't wait. We're going to dance. We're going to dance. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Ooh! <laughs> John Smith, Zero Paint Energy. Uh, energy. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Campbell is the Wizard of Oz. He is indeed. He's off across the outback now doing a doing a walkabout yes brian evans in his van love in the mist it was jenny kins bill miller good to see you so i'm gonna read a poem uh, nathan who is national memorial gardens gardens much love to you nathan my brotsky um andre good to see you nora oh my god did campbell do an acting as a student don't suck all nora for fuck's sake <laughs> 
Fiona. <laughs> Four Jacks. Sherry Ives. <laughs> oh, all of you vibes. Much love to you all. No, so I hope you're feeling all happy. Tickly belly feeling. Got all our love going on. Have you? Have you? You feeling happy? Good. And we'll be back very, very soon on Flat Earth British. Okay, make the share, share this out. Share the juice. If you want to come and meet Flat Earth British, I'm going to be on the road in the next month. I'll be cranking up flatter days. We're going to be in two, we're going to be in Edinburgh for a flatter day. Oh, I can't remember what, somewhere else for a flatter day. So that'll be a fantastic thing. Anyway, we'll crank up when we're having like uh, meets and peoples and all visiting and everything else. It's going to be all fantastic. And you won't miss a thing. We're not going to. We're not going to let you miss any of it, okay? Turn on that tech, Martin. I don't know what that means, Paul Gold. But I, I take it you do. <laughs> Lindsay Ashcroft, Jewish Samaritan. Okay, I'm going to go and fuck off because I need to drink. And I didn't want this to be a long video. Much love to you all. Flat Earth British peeps. That's Coop. Ooh, it's going to be brilliant. See how Welsh I sounded then? It's going to be brilliant. Whoop, whoop, indeed, Carl. You know it, mate. Janine's in the house. Good to see you. Uh, have amazing time. It'll be amazing. Or, or wandering around the countryside, Glastonbury. It's like that year, but it is going to be fantastic. Okay. And it's just in there. Wizards and miserable. Mis miserable. <laughs> Wizard rats and minerals. <laughs> wish I was up there. I wish it was you as well, Justin. Maybe buy scratch cards in the morning, win it, and come over. Uh -uh. Gary Taylor. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll send me send me a message and say, fucking hell, I won. It's like, yeah, no. Um, Ecky Thump. Yeah, there'll be but yeah, yeah, yeah. John Smith. Yeah, bring black pudding. Yeah. It's the black blackest black pudding I ever seen. Even the white bits were black. And then, yeah, we can have Ecky Thump sessions. Yeah, whack one another with black puddings. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Spirit, it's you, Gareth. And Andrew's coming as well. It's going to be epic. You're excited, Andrew. You like that? Ooh, people, real people. I know. And and all of the antique tech and everything else is better than added bonuses. Awake people. Yeah, that that is definitely the an attraction to it all. It's like human beings. Well, actual human beings. I haven't seen one of them except that lady down the shops and takes my money every day. Get on the bus. Yeah, you ever seen the Magical Mystery Tour? That was shit. This is better. Yeah. Magical mystery. Do I always stick a loads of basically freaks on a bus and see what happens? Do you know what happens? Yeah, sweet fuck all. That would be <laughs> they never had me, obviously. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. She's having laughing fits. Tommy, good to see you. Um, don't let them take your mind to crack a little track by Alex, who's doing a special song for us for the convention. Um, it's going to be an exclusive, okay, uh, especially for us, which is a, a really fantastic thing because he's a proper, proper musician. All the best for Cardiff this uh, Saturday, fellas, folks and females. It'll be Monday, and it'll be fantastic. Loads are going. Loads of the, of the my friends are turning up, and and all of the old flat earth, all the old flat earth crew as well from all your conventions, people I haven't seen for ages because no one, no one really been doing them anymore. So I, I thought I'd do it because no one else bothers. My ones are better anyway. They're not official and tarty. A little bit less informal. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. You don't like all our rules and uniforms and stuff, do we? We've had enough of that in the last bullshit years, haven't we? Yeah. You know it makes sense, guys. This time next year, guys. This time next year. <laughs> Squizzle, i never seen you in the house. Good to see you, my brother. Hoping you can join us somewhere along the line. That would be fantastic. Okay, you don't have to bring that big flat of British carving with you, though, because I can see that getting awkward on a bus or anything. <laughs> anyway, I can fuck off. Max Stump, good to see you. So, much love to you all. Thanks for popping by. Uh, T, I said that. Ooh. And make sure to share this out, please, and I'll be back very, very soon. Get your party hats on. Get your happy hats on. Make sure if, you go, if you're into steampunk, go to Whitby. We're going to have steampunk do. Have you heard of that? Yeah, it's going to be epic. Okay, steampunk do. I'm going to dress steampunk. Oh, goth. Oh, it's not goth. It's steampunk. Okay, Carl. 
Um, love this show. It's been a great wealth of information. Stay flat. Flat is the only way to be. I can't really be any other way because it is. But yeah, definitely. I feel very flat earthy this week. Yeah, very flat earthy. I don't know what that means, do you? Yeah, you do. I'm feeling that. Flat earthy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up for it. I'm up for a flat earth battle with the evil adversary who's a pussy. Moonbeam. Much love to Moonbeam. <laughs> Cavalocious. Um, Joycey. Jersey Bob. Yeah. There's a lot of Jersey. Jersey going on, yeah. Devorah. Devora. Um, thank you, Matt. It's a hundred percent alignment. Well, good. You can help us out with our cleansing of these of these uh, polluted uh, ley lines. We'll get this shit back online. It's ours for the taking. This place was ours anyway. We've just been seeking ways to like take it back. Oh, this is the one. Bring it all online. They can't touch us there. Eh? Can't touch us anyway. But you know what I mean. Anyway, I gotta fuck off because I'm just waffling, and it's been two and a plus hours. I think that's it for me. Okay. Boom Shanka. I mean, the seeds of your loins be forever fruitful in the belly of your woman. And be good and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay. That's not helpful, is it? <laughs> anyway, be good. I'll see you soon. Much love.